All right, for, for the A&N crew, most of us, it's a quick trip down I-95 and 4 to get to Sun and Fun, and just no fun, no fun at all. But at any rate, some people, though, seem to take on a sense of adventure, and all the way from California to Florida and a couple, of, well, three LSAs, marvelous trip. Tell us how you did it. Yeah, we've actually started a tradition of uh, trekking across the country twice a year to Sun and Fun and Oshkosh, and um, um, the future obviously may mean that we don't need to do it anymore, but we still uh, are hanging on to this uh, dream of flying across the country in small airplanes. We've started a, a new thing, which is inviting mainly new pilots to join us for these adventures as kind of ride-along self-fly adventures because we often have extra seats available in our airplanes. Much to our surprise, we have many, many respondents to this and people are fighting over each other to fly across the country with us because the truth is it's an adventure of a lifetime for them. It's an adventure of a lifetime for us, even though we do it twice a year, but it never gets old. This time around, we were fortunate we didn't fly under, over, or around a single cloud. Um, I think that's the first time on now my fourth leg around the or across the country of that happening. But like Matt said, it's a pleasure to fly with new pilots of ours from our flying club. We had two fly out here with us. They took a commercial flight back home, and we have two guys flying out on Saturday commercially, and then they're flying with us back home. So like Matt said, it's a privilege, I think, for us to be able to do this adventure. It's a comfortable airplane to be in. Being in a flight of three, it's actually two LSAs and one thing four that came on this leg. It's, it's an honor to be, to be a part of it. What advice do you give to folks who are taking on really big cross countries in small experimental or in some case light certified airplanes? What I really valued from my first flight was doing it with Mike Blythe, the founder and designer of the Sling. You know, with his around the world experience, I valued a lot from sitting with him in the airplane. So I think going with an experienced pilot does help. You know, checking weather, safety first is, is our motto. But really having the right equipment on board, the Stratus with our iPads, so we have four flight on board, MGL Avionics is great in the airplane. And be conservative, but you know, set a course, fly your course, and you know, deviate for weather if need be, and find a good place with ribeye. Yeah, it's, it's ribeye every night for us when we when we cross country, and I totally agree with Jordan. Um, anyone looking to do a, a long flight like this, uh, the best advice would be to do it with someone experienced first, because the things that you encounter are going to be things that may surprise you or may not. The bottom line, like Jordan says, is flying the airplane safely. Our priorities when we do a trip like this are priority number one, all live to see another day. Priority number two, get the airplane safely wherever we're going. And priority number three or four or five is, you know, get to Sun and Fun or get to Oshkosh. We don't even care too much about that. And when we're flying as a flight of three, we discuss safety all the time. We discuss the decisions that we have to make. So basically any advice we could give would be ride along on an adventure like this, take part with more experienced people. The last thing you want to do is attempt something big when you have new equipment that you're learning or new devices that you're trying to use and basically have anything that's going to get you away from priority number one of flying the airplane safely. No textbook learning can teach you how it's really going to be. What really I think gives us confidence is the fact that before we ventured across the country, this airplane went around the world. So that gave us confidence that it can handle all sorts of conditions. Of course, the airplane has its limitations, but so does the pilot, like Matt was saying. Safety first. Yeah. Thank you very much, gentlemen, and have a great trip back. Thank you, Jim. Appreciate it. Aero TV is brought to you by Cub Crafters is unique in that we can design, prototype, and certify, and put into production an aircraft. There aren't very many companies in the world that can make that claim. Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concorde's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concorde, the heart of your aircraft.